All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Shout out to my Discord gang for letting me know about the Kelly Olenek news. My Chicago Bulls just signed, signed and traded for Lonzo Ball. And then literally right after that, Kelly Olenek has agreed to a $37 million deal for three years to the Detroit Pistons, according to Jeff Schwartz, his agent. So... <sighs> Thank goodness. Um, first off, coming from a Rockets guy, thank God. Uh, not because I dislike Kelly Olynyk or I don't think he's a good basketball player, but mainly just like there isn't really a reason to have Kelly Olynyk on our team. I mean, he's over thirty. There's just like there literally is no reason. It's just not a single. Maybe if the Rockets were in the playoff hunt, there would be a reason to have Kelly Olynyk. This is really interesting for Detroit. Um, you know, it's it's right around where we were projecting him to be at, about fifty, you know, a little over fifteen a year. Um, since it was over fifteen million a year, I didn't want the Rockets to pick him up because I figured he would just be eventually a bench player, and I don't really like playing bench players fifteen a year. So, this is uh, extremely interesting for the Pistons. I would love to hear from a Pistons fan on their opinion of this because. They can't be that happy. I'm I'm just honestly shocked. I, I'm shocked. I'm not shocked that he didn't resign with the the Rockets, but you know, I saw the report and the rumors coming out that Kelly Olenek might be interested in going to Detroit, and it didn't really make sense. Um I don't know if he's gonna start because I kind of really wanted Isaiah Stewart to start, although now it might look like Kelly Olenek's their starting center. I I don't really <laughs> I don't really know, dude. I, I honestly like kind of feel bad for Pistons fans. I don't I hope they have a different outlook on this than me, but like I <laughs> to me the Pistons are in almost exactly the same boat as the Houston Rockets and just considering that you should really only be signing players like under twenty five. Um uh, you know, Jeremy Grant, rare exception, he's right around that age. I mean, he was, what, 26 last season? So <laughs> this is just weird, man. I, I'm shocked that they're not going after younger players. Uh, it looks like the Pistons might be trying to actually make the playoffs. I mean, obviously, they're trying to make the playoffs. But it looks like, the, I mean, the Pistons might have a legitimate, realistic chance at, you know, making some type of moves in the Eastern Conference this offseason. I don't think it's going to be anything too crazy. But Kelly, like signing Kelly Olenek to me, whether he starts, whether he comes off the bench, it gives me more of a reason. Like, I mean, the dude's 31 years old. Are you, <laughs> are you guys trying to rebuild or is rebuilding over? And I think I would feel the same way if he had signed with the Houston Rockets. I'm kind of surprised that the Rockets didn't re-sign him. I felt like that was a very Houston Rockety thing to do. Uh, I, I just shocked, man. I honestly, I'm not even a Pistons fan, and I, I don't even have words other than, well, thank goodness he's off the damn Rockets. I'm sorry, Pistons fans. I maybe you guys are excited, but I, it's hard for me to really imagine Pistons fan being too excited about this kind of confusing move so uh, that's it for today pistons fans you guys know exactly what to do please just if i'm wrong if if you guys love this signing please go at my throat please go at my throat because i don't know too much about the pistons you know i try to make as many pistons videos as i can another reason you should subscribe to the channel but i one of my favorite parts about making piston videos is just hearing from you guys hearing from piston fans so let me know if re-signing kelly or not re-signing let me know if you guys liked the signing of kelly olenek most importantly though hit that sub button i'll see you guys later